Welcome to this video introducing Off Highway Research's report into the construction equipment market in Iran. My name's Paul Howard and I'm a consultant for Off Highway Research and I was in Iran recently to write this report. So, it's important to understand why we're interested in Iran and why now. To answer the second of those questions first, the simple answer is the lifting of sanctions related to Iran's nuclear activities. These were imposed 10 years ago in 2006. They had a progressive impact and didn't really affect the construction equipment market in the country until after 2009, although the effect subsequently was significant. By 2015, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action between the United Nations and various global powers and Iran led to the prospect of sanctions being lifted and indeed that was the case at the beginning of 2016. I say sanctions have been lifted, they have in relation to nuclear sanctions, although pre-existing sanctions imposed by the United States are still in effect and the situation is rather complicated. Nevertheless, what was in effect a closed market to many international suppliers for the past 10 years is now open, hence much interest in the country. There are, however, other reasons to be interested in Iran over and above the lifting of sanctions. For a start, the country's location has always meant that it's been a hub, a trading hub, between East and West. Secondly, it's a very big country. It's the 18th largest in the world, and in terms of population, it's the 17th largest, with some 80 million people. As many people know, it has very considerable gas and oil reserves. It also has, however, very important resources in many other minerals, as you can see in this table. If to these natural resources are added the fact that the economy is effectively reawakening after the lifting of sanctions, indeed the most reliable forecasts suggest GDP growth of 5% annually for the next five years, there are persuasive reasons to be interested in the Iranian market at the moment. That said, it must be acknowledged that the construction equipment market is indeed at a low ebb. After researching the country, it's become clear that sales of new machines last year totaled around 3,500 units. It also needs to be understood that within that 3,500 units, around 1,400 of those were sales in response to government tenders for providing machines to municipalities. This is rather sporadic demand, it certainly can't be predicted. Therefore it's important to understand the effective private underlying demand which totaled only around 2,100 units last year. This compares to a market of between 5 and 6,000 units prior to the imposition of sanctions or even in comparison with other countries in the region where annually 10,000 machines are sold in Turkey and in Saudi Arabia. A final point of note is the strength of domestic manufacturing. There's been a long tradition of manufacturing machines in the country that dates back to before the revolution in 1979. There are indeed many players even now in such constrained times with more than 12 identified in the report. They also account for more than 50% of domestic sales. It should be noted, however, that it's important to distinguish between those with genuine production capacities, there is indigenous product development, for example, for backhoes, crawler excavators, graders, compaction equipment, and those who are more assembly operations. These, in turn, are mainly as a result of the supply of CKD kits from Chinese manufacturers. The presence of these Chinese manufacturers, the development and success of the domestic manufacturing industry, changes to the distribution network and specific analyses of specific markets for specific products are all contained in much more detail in the report. For more information please visit www.offhighway.co.uk